What label is it again? Re- Republic Records. Republic Records. Okay. Yeah. I apologize. Now you go. Oh no, you're fine. You're fine. Um, being signed means you got to do more work. Like this shit gets harder after you're signed. Like you, you got to meet deadlines. You got to do PR. You got you. You have to do a lot of shit. Like a lot of shit. Mm. Um, you got to go through clearances like if you have anything that sounds like anybody else's song in your fucking track either you have to change that shit or you got to get it clear so that's gonna put your release date back however the fuck long that it takes to be cleared um you gotta you gotta market yourself like you got to work so hard to, like, get yourself to 50. When you went 50, then your label going to push you to 100. Mm. But you have to be at fucking 50 because they're not just going to push you because it's like, yeah, mm. why? You know? Mm. You don't want to work, so why should we work? You have to work hard for for every fucking thing that you want. Everything. Every fucking thing. Like, nothing is given. And it is easier to be worked with if you are a nice, welcoming person who wants to work. But if you want these bitches in the industry that don't want to fucking work this shit, nah. Mm. People ain't gonna wanna work for you. It's like, what the fuck? Like, you so mean. Why? But when I get big, mark my words, because y'all gotta pull this clip back up. No, for sure. I'm gonna pull it up for When sure. I get big, I'm, for, I'm forever going to be this lovable ass person that I am now. Like, I can't be mean. Like, this, that's not me. I mean, if we gotta get with it, we gotta get with it. But coming off, I'm not no mean ass bitch. So I'm not gonna be one. You know, that's not me. That's good. With or without money, I'm not no mean ass bitch. I'm. This lovable ass ball of fucking energy that you just love to fucking be around, you know? You in the industry now. Have you ever been, have you ever met somebody that you always looked up to and they was different when you met them? Mm, no. Well, I ain't no experience no. like that. Not, not yet. I have not. But now, hopefully you don't. They were like that. You don't want to meet your, um, you don't want to meet your favorite person because they're going to let you down. Mm, that's yeah. why I asked that. Hopefully so not, but. it's crazy because you keep saying you know, I think it's really dope and um and humbling that like uh you keep saying when I get big when I get big but mm-hmm. you you hear so many people say I want to get signed I talk to so many people on a daily basis that want to get signed and they have no idea that that's just the the start Woo, of it. that shit when you get signed it's it's like you starting over from from square one mm. you have to prove to every fucking body in this industry that. You deserve a spot here. Mm. And then you you have to make your spot bigger than every fucking body else is on this on this fucking planet, honestly. You just gotta get big. Like you just gotta you have to force your name there. Like, bitch, this is this is me. And I worked so hard to fucking get here. So I'm so I'm gonna be big. That's it. Like Facts. that's it. That's all. Like <laughs> so how was the? I mean, we can't ignore it. I mean, you get signed. Some something gotta come with it. The the bread come with it. How was the first check? Was it like life changing, or it was like all right? Um, I stayed was in the hood. Minute? I stayed in the hood, right? And um, so when I got signed, I'm like, okay, well, when when they were thinking about signing me, because I had 13 label deals. Mm. Yeah, I had 13. So I'm like, we gotta keep this shit quiet. Mm. We gotta shh. We gotta be quiet. You know. I was in the hood too, so I'm like, this shit gotta be quiet. Like, you, we don't want people knowing that I got all this shit going on because they're gonna think that I got something right now that I ain't got shit, you know? Mm-hmm. I had a 2016 Honda. Well, Hyundai, I think it was a Sonata. I had a house in the city with my girl, you know? Um, and I did her. Shit, I ain't had shit else to give nobody. But social media uh make it seem like that they can just come in and just take like a million fucking dollars from me you know mm-hmm. so we we kept it quiet till we couldn't keep it quiet no more and once i knew that we couldn't keep it quiet no more i'm like we gotta move up move up out this house because everybody knew where we stayed at because mind you i did her out of my house so they knew where we stayed at. i'm like i can't nah we can't do this you know so the same day that it hit platforms that i was signed was the same day that i moved about the house mm. like fucking all y'all ain't. you was able to move with the check that they get they signed you no nah, i um i actually moved with my sister like i moved with her because our condo wasn't wasn't ready yet so we had a nice condo but did the label pay for the condo Hell yeah all right that's what i'm trying to ask Hell i'm trying yeah. to figure out if they kicking out some, some real yeah. money here. they is kicking out some real money but that money ain't yours you got to pay that shit back Talk you got to me. pay that shit back when like, is it like a deadline it ain't no deadline, but it's like 
the more you make, they're going to take their bread back. You know, it's like you don't make money until you pay back your advancement, basically. Is it plus interest? Nah, it ain't plus interest. It's just paying it back? Yeah, paying it back. <clears throat> let's, let's, let's rewind for a second. Mm-hmm. Um, you had a few managements. Yeah. Um, and I guess one of your managers uh, put up some money, and he wanted his money back. Who did? This was like... I don't know if it was the second manager. This is this was the one that I think y'all y'all broke up on good terms, something like that. Because you had one man, you had a few managements, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm trying to remember. I think because you you believe that management's supposed to put up money, right, and help you, right? Yeah. You had one manager that uh, mm-hmm. I don't remember. I don't I don't know if it was in the name, but I know it was one I time you said name drop. So it's cool. Yeah, it was it was a manager that that uh-huh. was that was helping you. With, they they bought you something, but they wanted their money back. And they uh-huh. were asking for more or something like every, that. Every every manager that I have ever had got their money back, mm. but they got their money back and wanted wanted more, wanted more. or wanted some shit that I couldn't give them. So mm. so when you say more, is it more money? What what was it that you it couldn't give them? A lot of shit. And um, a lot of managers put me in a lot of situations that I shouldn't have been in. So like as what? of today, I give me give me a give me a couple more, and I'll be able to t- and, and I'll be able to tell you, but I can't tell you right now. Okay. But it's all right. Give me a second. Okay, I'm gonna spin a block when I'm bigger. Give me a second though. All I right. promise. Okay. But um, yeah, they had one of some shit that I couldn't give them. Um, and then they then they left me for dead. And now they see me getting bigger. It's like oh well. I did this for you, and I did that for you. But they leaving out the fact to where everything that they have ever done for me has been given back to them. Everything, mm. everything, you know. Not the time, but the bread. Oh, yeah, you got you got your shit back plus some, you know. So, um, being as though that they, they, like, see me going up and shit because they thought that my shit was over. But being as though that they see me going up and shit, now it's like, Okay, well, how about that you just give me this? How about you give me that? How about that we come back and we be cool and <laughs> forget everything that I did to you, forget that I left you high and dry and just, you know. No U turns. Can't spin a bin. Nah, you know, like I'm I'm a nice ass person to you do something to me because mind you, I I listen, I'm the sweetest fucking person, but you always gotta know that the sweetest person have a different side, you know? Mm-hmm. And that side of me has to come out when it's people who's trying to play with me. Cause do not play with me. Like, come on now. Mm. We can't. I won't play with you. So please believe that you're not gonna play with me on no fucking day, you know? So being as though that, you know, I was played with. If it's up, then it's fucking stuck with whoever. Whoever, because at the end of the uh, day, like I'm too good of a too good of a fucking person to have went through what I went through. You know, so if it is the manager out there saying I owe you some bitch, fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I like that. Do you ever worry at, um, at all because of the experiences that you had with your management that it will be a similar situation with a label? Um, you know something crazy part is nah, I don't. I I don't even have that worry no more because being as though that I went through everything that I went through, now I can read a contract to you frontwards, backwards, crisscross, naked, clothes, mm. everything. You know, I can I can read that shit to you. And before I even send a contract to my to my uh, lawyer, I would read that shit myself. And if and if it's something that I don't like in this contract, I'm not even sending it. Like yeah. people say, hey, well, maybe you just need to tell them to like take out the price you don't like. Fuck nah, because if after I tell you what I went through, and you still put some fucked up shit in this contract, fuck you. Mm. I can't do it. I can't like I I cannot be played with ever again ever. Ever. So you had to go through some of them things to even learn. Fuck yeah. It, but isn't it, isn't it fortunate that you went? Hell yeah. Because I want to say this fair because I don't know what you've been through, right? And mm-hmm. it sounds like it was something crazy. So I want to okay, be all fair. To, give me a second. So, no, nah, I got you. I got you. I'm spin it. Not what you went through when I say fortunate, but isn't it fortunate that you got through that first before you got to this level? Fuck yeah. When I say I'm so fucking happy that I went through everything that I went through in the beginning of my career because I ain't really have shit to lose. I had a couple records and that shit went shit, you know. And that was it. I ain't I ain't had no money. I ain't had no royalties. I ain't had shit. So it's like I um I asked that question because I, I interviewed um Carl Crawford. That's uh Megan Thee Stallion's old label rep or label owner, uh-huh. manager. And you know, I was thinking like it's so unfortunate that, you know, both management and artists. So like mm-hmm. without being biased or whatever. It's so unfortunate that a, a small time management company or a small time label can put so much into an artist and not recruit the 
whatever they they put in, right? Mm-hmm. But at the same time, it's unfortunate for our artists to be, you know, hungry. Not because I don't, mm-hmm. don't want to say desperate, but so hungry that they take a deal that might not be best for them, mm-hmm. and then they gotta pay for it on the back end, yeah, because they didn't know any better. Mm-hmm. So I want I, I look at your situation and I think um, it's dope because you you don't have to worry about going through that no more because you kind of went through that already. Mm-hmm. So you now you say I'm gonna read every. Every deal that come, everything, everything, everything that come across my table, everything. that's fire. Everything, like I sit down for hours <clears throat> reading that shit. Like, <laughs> yeah, nah, I read that shit. I think that's fire, and I think that's something that um, more people need to know because a lot of people they, they they hear about getting signed, and first thing they think is like, I'm gonna get put on, I'm gonna get this money, I'm gonna yeah. do this. So they just sign and they want to die line. What I want to tell people with with that shit is, do not sign nothing that you ain't motherfucking read. Don't sign shit. That you ain't read, mm. like that you ain't read, that you ain't had no lawyer read. Do not sign shit. Don't sign shit. I don't give a fuck if you trust this person with your fucking life. Do not sign a motherfucking thing until you have somebody read it. Let me ask you this then. Uh huh. A lot of times when we when we hear these um these situations of being signed to a label, mm-hmm. the label provide a, a um a lawyer. We all know that that's not the right thing to do. Mm-hmm. But being an upcoming artist, mm-hmm. <clears throat> who do you get? In replace of a lawyer, if you can't afford a lawyer, how, how, who do you get to 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 read over the the, the documentation with you? Um, ooh, uh, honestly speaking, you gotta get a lawyer. Mm. <laughs> you gotta get a lawyer. Like you have to invest in your fucking craft. Like if you cannot afford a lawyer, you cannot afford to sign that fucking piece of paper. Mm. Fuck that. Sheesh. I don't give a fuck how much of a dream that they selling you that they going to break you. They going to do. do not sign no fucking paper. Don't do it. Don't fucking do it. Hustle, hustle until you can get a fucking lawyer. And if you can't get no lawyer, then you don't you don't need to be no fucking rapper. Whew. Or do what I do. If you read that contract and you don't know a word that's in that bitch, Google that bitch, right? Google that shit. This had them true. motherfuckers using this fucking sentence. Had them, like, had them tell you what that word mean. Mm. And if you still do not get it, don't sign that shit. Ask the people who gave you that contract, what the fuck is this word right here? You know, because they shouldn't be mad at you. Mad at you asking questions. Be like, what this word right here mean? What does this sentence right here mean? Why you put that right there? What is it? How does that help you out? Mm. Or you can actually ask people to have the fucking contract written in layman's terms. That's like regular. Mm-hmm. Like, do not put no fucking lawyer shit in this contract. Put everything to where I can read that shit as a regular person. Because they would try to lawyer lawyer word a contract down. Like, down to a fucking T, for real. Like, for real. You got to you gotta read that shit, for real. Let me ask you this. Mm-hmm. We about to go, I promise. I'm not... If Listen, you, I got as much time as <laughs> as much time as you have. All right, I appreciate that. If you got time. If if you had to choose, if you had it your way, mm-hmm. which would you choose? Solely independent, or be signed to a major label? <laughs> I be signed to to a major label. Mm. I be signed to a major label with a contract that's like very fucking like it's like. It's like equal. It's like even. Mm. But I have a very good deal. Like, my deal is good as shit, you know? So, I wouldn't switch my deal for no other deal on this fucking planet. What makes a deal good, though? Um, To where both both parties are getting exactly what they need to be getting, mm. basically. To where, you don't, to where you don't have to sacrifice to give somebody something because you can't have it, basically. It's mm. like, nah, you just, yeah. It works for both of us. 50-50. And if it ain't fifty fifty, then the artist has to get more always, cause it makes sense. It don't, it don't make sense to sign a fucking contract to where the fucking label is raping you out of out of every fucking thing that you have. You can't do that. Mm. 